This weekend, I'm inviting you to live your life miracle to miracle. And if you're in the Detroit, Michigan area, listen up. I'll be in Troy, Michigan, this Sunday. Sunday morning service and an afternoon seminar on how to power pray. It will change the way that you pray forever. If you've ever prayed and prayed and prayed and you haven't gotten answers to your prayer, I'm going to explain why and explain how to have answers every time and how to manifest true miracles in your life. Information's on the website. Come and join us. Of course, anytime we do a seminar, it's for a no-fee basis, free of charge, except that we will take a love offering. If you have something to give, we invite you to do so for the good of all. I am talking this weekend about living from miracle to miracle. Most people don't. Most people live from problem to problem. Some live from tragedy to tragedy or crisis to crisis. Don't you any longer live from miracle to miracle. In Ephesians, 3 verse 20 it says with God's power working in us God can do much much more than anything we could ever ask or even imagine and I agree the answers to prayer that God will answer are always greater than you can ever conceive of in human mind well today do you believe in the all-powerful God who can do miraculous things in and through you. You should. But perhaps, as you've faced struggles and difficulties of life, you have, probably without realizing it, allowed them to erode your faith in a miracle-working God. Or maybe you've gotten to the point that you can believe in miracles for other people, but not for you in this present situation. If so, take the opportunity this weekend to refresh your faith. Remember that God's power has absolutely no limitations whatsoever, and be assured that God can work mighty miracles in your life. Today, if you lack in any way a firm faith in God's power to perform miracles for you and for the situations in your life or for your loved ones, spend time meditating on God's promises. Read some of the stories recorded in the Bible of how God worked miracles in people's lives and throughout history. And then, instead of doubting God in your own life, place yourself in God's hands. Instead of questioning in any way God's power, trust God and expect God to work miracles because God can do more than you could ever ask or even imagine. In my seminar, one of the things that I teach is to change the word prayer to expectation. And I'll explain why this weekend. God bless you, my friend. I hope to see you in Detroit.